Hey everybody, it's Queen of Light 1111 here with the Divine Feminine Check-In. So what we're looking at, I just did the reading for the Divine Masculines, and what we're looking at here is we're looking at the energies of the Divine Feminine, um, her head, heart, and environment as related to Divine Masculine. And um, so what is she thinking? What is she feeling? What's happening in her environment? And this, what I'm doing is I'm using my Divine Connections Oracle deck so that we can look at how much of the energy is in the 3D and how much of the energy is in the 5, okay, towards, towards her Divine Masculine. So I offer this reading as an energy check-in on my website at queenoflight1111.com. And so if you are interested in that reading, what we would be doing is a twin flame energy check-in, and it can be for any relationship, doesn't have to necessarily have the label of twin flame. So what we'll do is we'll look at the person's energy towards you, and it'll be a little similar to this. We'll use the Divine Connections Oracle with the tarot, and we'll look at what connections are, you know, what the energy is towards you. And if those are 3D or 5D energies, we'll look at your energy towards that person. We'll look at the energy of the connection, and then we'll pull potential future energies. So if you're interested in purchasing that reading, go to queenoflight1111.com. If you're interested in purchasing uh, my Oracle deck, my Divine Connections Oracle deck, then please email me at queenoflight1111 at gmail.com. Let's go ahead and get started with Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine's bottom of the deck, we have Remover of Negative Energies, Kalima, with the Page of Cups. This is a 5D energy. So what it, this is really telling me is that the, the Divine Feminine is doing a lot of 5D work um, in her journey at this time. And that is all around kind of this, this Page of Cups energy, meaning, you know, having this energy of gentleness, this energy of you know, forgiveness or apologies, this energy of kind of newly inspired love. And so what she's really working towards her underlying energy is removing these energies that are perhaps low vibrational in the 5D and then grounding them in the 3. And the reason why I say that, because there's a lot of work going on here for Divine Feminine. First card out for her headspace when she thinks about Divine Masculine. This is removes negative energies. This is the 3D version of this card. So this is exactly why I say that this stuff is happening in the 3D. Because in her headspace, when she thinks about her masculine, she is releasing and removing any negative energies, okay? Any negative energies around a new beginning, right? So maybe she's kind of in an energy of, well, I know she is because it comes out here, of weight or of, you know, there's some sort of perhaps a little bit of expectation because this energy is, this connection is not in, in communication. And if there is communication, it's perhaps not fulfilling. So she's in, removing any negative energies that get in the way of them starting fresh, okay? Removing any energies towards them making a decision, okay? The next card we have is Archangel Jophiel, Temperance. So there's healing happening, healing happening, balancing happening in the Divine Feminine as related to her journey, Eight of Cups. Divine Masculine got the Eight of Cups in his heart space with, um, I forget the card, but it's definitely about his spiritual journey as well. So she's kind of healing while she moves forward on this journey, looking for her Two of Cups since this tower. So, you know, whatever's shaking things up, she's balancing out the energies to continue her, her movement forward. Cupid, this is an angel card. Cupid is working with her in her headspace to kind of get her out of this defensive of energy. Seven of Wands towards her connection. There is a little bit of energy as she's removing energies and healing. You know, she is kind of in an energy where maybe she's a little guarded or a little defensive. You know, maybe there's a barrier towards this connection. But here we go. In the 3D, we're removing obstacles with the soldier card. This is a 3D card. What obstacle is being removed? Okay, obstacles that keep them from moving forward in love and manifesting. Okay, so she's very much in an energy of one, two, um, you know, these are these are all these angels when they come up, they're working within the 3D realm. Okay, so this is all four cards are about the headspace in the 3D, removing any negative energy towards a new beginning and making a decision healing since the tower for the journey 
inspiring love within the divine feminine so that she's not blocking this connection okay cupid's working with her on that the soldier energy is removing obstacles from them moving forward and manifesting something beautiful what's happening in her heart space there's this energy of no communication okay what about it it's wounding nine of wands okay this is a 3d energy and so what's wounding is six of pentacles so that, that there's no exchange it's a wound she hasn't given up but they're not communicating and that is, it's a wound for her. She hasn't given up on the journey, but it is certainly something that puts her, you know, makes her a little defensive. Next, we have the union card. We got this for the masculine in his headspace. Union, queen of wands and angel Della Nui. I love this. This is union of self. She has achieved union of self she has transformed herself all these butterflies here in this energy with the queen of wands say to me with this union card is that she is in an energy where she's like i know i'm on this journey i know this journey is for my healing yes i love my masculine yes i want union with my masculine but i have achieved union through this dark night of soul i have transformed myself the next card, Archangel Michael, is working with her in the 3D, protecting her as well, protecting her through her stress, Nine of Swords. Archangel Michael came up in the headspace for Divine Masculine with the Ten of Swords and his rebirth, and now he is here helping her through her stress, through her anxiety, trying to help her get back into her positivity again, you know, as related to this non-communication, giving her strength. Angel Ariel shows up, Goddess of strength shows up to help her with her wishes while she is in this hermit mode while she continues to complete her journey in the environment for divine feminine we have surya the sun god this is the same position in divine masculine's reading where we got the moon and here he is as the sun and this is the energy of him moving forward knight of pentacles towards this new beginning the fool card so in her environment she knows intuitively that this will rebirth this connection we re will rebirth into a new beginning but right now she is releasing any low vibrational energy this came up for him as well releasing unforgiveness releasing any barriers releasing any defensiveness okay because she's learned lessons three of pentacles okay about this waiting She's releasing her weight. She's in union with self. She's not going to wait. So now we get this 5D card. Hanuman, allies, her spirit guides, her angels, her ancestors are helping her through this seven of pentacles divine timing wait to come into union. Three of cups. They're helping her stay patient, stay in her heart space, stay in union with herself as things continue to move forward in divine timing. And then Archangel Raphael shows up for her heart healing so that she can move towards her destiny as the high priestess. Okay, so there's a lot going on. There's a lot of angels, a lot of angels that are helping her in the 3D. We've got Angel Jophiel, who is temperance, Cupid. We have Archangel Michael, Archangel Ariel. We have um, Zadkiel, who helps with release. And then we have Raphael. And then in also in the 5D energy that we have here for this connection for Divine Feminine is Hanuman and allies. And then the other 5D type of card that I have is Surya, the sun god. So right now, because of this no communication, this connection and communication perhaps is mostly occurring in the five, okay? And their ancestors, spirit guides are helping. So what's happening in the 3D? Removing negative energies, okay? Releasing unforgiveness, releasing defensiveness, removing obstacles from having them move forward. Okay, there's also this energy of, of coming in to union, union with self in the 3D after this major transformation. Divine Feminine is really mastering her journey. So, so proud, okay? I hope this made sense. And if you want to book your personal reading with me to see how much of your connection's energy is in the 3D and in the 5D, then go to queenoflight1111.com and I will be happy to work with you. Have a wonderful day. I'm going to do the Divine Connection reading next. Bye.